Artists and friends Anne Smurden and Corinne Lewis brought together over 30 highly trained free flight birds of different species to document their personality and plumage for their exhibition, Captive Companions, now on display at Tweed Regional Gallery. Let's get to know some of the quirky characters that Anne and Corinne have painted for this exhibition. Meet Ranger, a 57-year-old galah, who the artists describe as an absolute gentleman. During his photo shoot, he would make kissing noises and snuggle up against Anne's cheek. She told us that he would sit anywhere he was asked to and even raise his crest on command. But Ranger wasn't always so sweet. When his former owner passed away, he became so vicious that no one could handle him. Well, until he met his current owner, Jess. It's a good reminder that parrots are long-term pets and different species can live between 30 and 90 years. The other subject of this painting is Fish, the gang gang cockatoo, who wanted absolutely nothing to do with his portrait being taken. Anne and Corinne described how he paced around on the floor, muttering away to himself and pecking their feet when they got in his way. Say hello to Kyron, an adult male Major Mitchell cockatoo, whose owner described him as sensitive and warned that he might fly off during the photo shoot if he felt unsure of his surroundings. Sure enough, the artist told us he refused to go anywhere near the strawberries and they waited patiently for over an hour for this moment. Meet Nemo, a nestling female galah across Major Mitchell. If you've ever had the chance to observe baby parrots, you'll understand how incredibly adorable this girl was for Anne to photograph. Anne shared with us that little Nemo was so unsteady on her feet she slid off the pumpkin. She patiently waited to be put back on and then she would slide off all over again. Meanwhile, Kirby, a juvenile male Eastern galah, posed like a professional model. Calm and poised, he hopped onto the pumpkin as if he knew what he had to do. Within seconds, he had provided a portfolio of perfect shots. Looking left, looking right, crest up, crest down, standing tall, wings out. This adult male Hans McCaw is called Figaro and he is a rescue bird. His plucked chest is an indicator of the stress, boredom or hormonal issues he faced in his previous home. It's likely that he had his wings clipped from a young age because at the time Anne painted this, he didn't know how to fly. He was a scared, nervous bird who chose to stay in his open cage where he felt safe. Today, Anne reports that Figaro has made remarkable progress. He has stopped feather plucking and his feathers have grown back he has learnt to fly, which he thoroughly enjoys, and he is now quite a confident, outgoing bird. Finally, meet Anne Smurden's pet birds, Vonnegut and Sheila. Ten-year-old Vonnegut is an adult male Indian ringneck, named after author Kurt Vonnegut. In 2017, he won the title of Australia's Greatest Pet and was animated in the 2019 movie, The Secret Life of Pets 2. Anne says that he has an infectious enthusiasm for life that has seen his social media following quickly grow to over 90,000 followers on Instagram and over 85,000 followers on Facebook. Sheila is an adult female Indian ringneck named after artist Egon Sheila. Anne describes Sheila as the most determined bird she knows. She is very clear on what she wants and what she doesn't want. If something is bigger than her or heavier than her, she has to see if she can push it over. She will fly into the shower every day and screech until Anne turns the water on. And of course, she insists on having a bath in the basin after her shower too. There are so many more adorable characters to meet. Check out the online catalogue of Anne and Corinne's exhibition, Captive Companions, on our website and look for our art play bird activity these school holidays. It's creative fun for adults and kids alike.